So with all the buzz going on about the new autopilot update, I figured I would do a little benchmark to see where my car is before this update comes out. So Model 3 hasn't gotten it yet, hopefully soon. Um, so I'm going to take my normal commute to work, kind of see how it performs. Um, there's a lot of places where I normally don't use autopilot. I've tested it, but I am not confident in the slightest. So I'm hoping this update at least cleans some things up. I don't expect it to make some of these tight 90 degree turns that, that are going to come up, but we'll see what it does. Um, for example, this curve coming up, um, I can test it. Ah, wait, let me engage. So the majority of this road, uh, autopilot won't even attempt to engage. So I uh, can't really test that yet. Maybe after the new update, it'll work. I'll try it again. So we got a car in front of us now. It's not giving me the option for autopilot. This little bump right here in the road, it's going to spaz out as usual. Haven't had to successfully make it over. To try to take me to the right. It's thinking, it's stopping, and okay, now it's back on track. So, take over and head left. Let these cars go. I can try enabling it again here. Let me speed up. We have a little bump here and turn left a little bit, but it eventually got the line. Bump our speed up. 45 is our limit on this road. There's another test right here. Alright, did that alright. situations in this area where I have no leading car and my car will consistently swerve off in about three spots on this segment. The next segment that I want to test has a couple tighter turns that I have not seen my car successfully navigate yet. So I'm going to give those a shot and see what happens. take back over. Get up to speed again. I'm gonna manually drive this segment. Alright, so this is the next testing point. I am very confident it is gonna drive me off the side right here, so I'm gonna hold my hands tightly on the wheel. Uh, nope, 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 not gonna do it. <laughs> 
cannot see cars around the corner, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Uh, maybe I will. Let's try it again at 32 miles per hour. It's spazzing out. Going over the left a little bit. Alright. At 32 miles per hour, it will navigate, sort of, by running over the left line the majority of the way. We have a second segment of this curve coming up in a second. I set my autopilot to 40. Let's see what it does here. This is flat, so hopefully you can navigate this curve. And it is all over the place, as usual. One more curve. Nope. Into the ditch. I will take over again. all confidence in this curve, so I'm just going to take over again for a little bit. Alright, here's one more curve. We're going to see what it does. And Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm sure I can attempt it, but I don't feel like I have quite the reaction time by the time I realize it's going to take me off the road to save that. So, these two curves, actually there's three of them, are pretty much 90 degree sweeps. And I don't believe the car can do this on, even on the new update, so this will be fun to test once I get that. But for now, there's not a whole lot of space on this segment of road that I really trust the autopilot right now. On highway, I love it. Unfortunately, most of my commute to work is taking these back roads and autopilot is not the fondest of these roads so i'm hoping you know a couple months they might improve it enough where i can enable it here but for now i'll just keep testing it so now i'm going to take the same road uh but in the opposite direction i don't think that's going to change anything but worth a shot to see what kind of results we get so here's the first 90 degree curve, I'm doing 45, and it is, nope, it's going to kill me. <laughs> Take over for that one. I don't know why, but I'm going to try this one too. Speed limit's 55, but autopilot's uh, limited to 45 in this area. So that's what we have. And we're all over the place, and I'm going to take over. It's going too fast into the curve. And I see another Tesla driving by. I wonder if they're doing the same thing. Alright. This is the third 90 degree curve. And it is actually slowing down more than it has for the other curves. And it is taking me on the other side, so I will take over. Okay, so we're starting to come into some more curves. Uh, this is that segment of curves that aren't that tight, but a little tricky to navigate. It is taking me directly over the center divider and then eventually straightened out. Okay. If it didn't do that part, it might be usable. Okay. Here comes another sweeping curve. Still doing 45. And it is navigating that pretty well. Okay. Got some cars coming, so I might. Yep, I'm taking over. <laughs> I've tried it a couple times up here, have not had it be successful, so. Uh, it does say 25 speed limit. The car is not slowing down, so I will manually take over. Unfortunately, it does not automatically slow down in all of the all of these curves. A handful of them, it'll do it just fine, um, but it doesn't seem to quite have that database yet. I was hoping the more I drive it, the better I'd get at recognizing speeds in these curves. So 
curious to see if the new update will fix some of that. So we have a little bit of a ridge here. I'm gonna let it see what it can do. Once again, we're still limited to 45, so it's gonna drop me down every time I engage autopilot. So even if autopilot does work on these segments of road, I don't even enable it because the speed limit's 55 and I don't wanna be that guy blocking everyone. Uh, one cool thing about autopilot you can do, which is probably super dangerous, is you can manually override the speed. So I'll keep both hands on the wheel, but use the accelerator pedal to go faster than the 45 it limits me to. And it'll slow auto steer, but not with a whole lot of confidence. I can feel the wheel kind of jumbling around, trying to figure out what it wants to do. Alright, so I'm going to take my foot off the accelerator right here, let the car do the work. Hoping it slows down, and it is about to take me off into the right side of the road, so I'm going to take over. <laughs> Engaging again here. Nope. Does not like that. So, if it can navigate that curve in the next update, I will be very happy. Don't quite foresee that happening yet, but who knows. So I'm going to end the video here, I'll shoot the same road again, hopefully same time of day, weather conditions next time. Um, not having a lead car is a good test, um, so I'll, I'll try to recreate that once the new update comes out. But right now I'm not super confident in autopilot in these kind of situations. Uh, majority of my driving is probably not on the highway, so um, I would love to see it to work on these kind of highway situations. Uh, Hopefully that improves in the next couple of weeks, so we'll see.